To create your first site, just go ahead and click down here the plus sign to create the new site. Now there's a lot to sites, so we'll just deal with the small parts of this as we go. So just so you know, it automatically saves everything that you do. There's no save button to, pu to push. So to name the site, you just click up here and name your site. I'm going to make this a portfolio for a senior in high school. And then the home page, you can name this page or whatever you'd like to do. So let's just talk a little quickly about the, the um, themes. So over here on this menu bar, you have themes. You only have six themes, and so let's try a different theme. And within each theme, you only have certain colors, like five colors for each theme. So here we go. And within each of those, you only have a few um, choices of fonts. And that's okay because what that does is it pre uh, makes your site more unified. So let's go ahead and change this one, and I'll change the font to modern just or what did I put it as classic just for to show you how that works and then I can also go ahead and change the size of this by clicking here and I can change the size I can also center it or justify it any way I would like I'll center it but let's just say I want this on two lines I can squeeze this together make it two lines Try making it a little bit, a little bit longer there, uh, almost. It has these grids inside of it. Now I can move this to wherever I'd like. I can also, and I just messed it up, but that you get the idea. You can work with that. You can also use pictures for your site. Remember that because this is a public website, they need to be legal to use and Google's already done that for you if you put your own images on there make sure that they are acceptable to use um, publicly so I just change that I also can change the header type we'll give it a few seconds to load so I can use the title only the banner or the large banner and I'm just going to go ahead and click banner so that's how to, to use the themes and to change the name of your website and also naming your pages. And we'll talk about some of the other editing features in later videos.